Happy birthday, Danielle. Happy birthday. Just celebrated Danielle's birthday. You guys look so cute. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be another vlog. Started the day off because it's Danielle's birthday. So we did a little birthday breakfast and now I'm going to Soul Cycle. I feel like a soccer mom in this defined jacket from Little Lemon, but then I have my sports bra underneath and it's kind of great. A little convertible moment. We're taking Cameron's class. I haven't taken him in a while, but he is really challenging. You guys know the routine. Just addicted to this smoothie after spin. Walking home now. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. And that workout class was so hard, but so good. Hi guys, it's the next day. I figured I would make this vlog just a week of my life because that's what we're gonna do. Bam, I don't make the rules. Yesterday, I got my hair done. I got it cut and a fresh gloss from Mads. And then I slept on it and this is what we got. My hair always looks so good after I get it done and people always compliment it and be like, oh my God, your hair looks so good today, Brooke. I'm like, I know it's because I didn't do it myself. No matter what I do, I feel like I can't recreate this like sleek of a blowout. She just did a little bit of a trim. I still wanted to keep the length, but we're working on it. So yay. I will show you guys my outfit. Headed out right now to go to Tribeca to go what is that noise? Oh, the door was like ajar. We're about to head out to go to an event with Apple, actually. It's a showcase of their new items. Uh, they're launching a bunch of new stuff tomorrow. New iPhone, new AirPods, new watch, and it's like a showcase. The last time I did something with Apple was like four years ago in the fall, right around the time I quit my job. It might have been like four years ago, pretty much exact. I am super excited about it, so I figured I'll bring you guys along with. We're meeting Danielle there. I'll show you guys my outfit. Nothing, it's nothing revolutionary. This is one of those dresses I've had in my closet for two years and I rewear it all the time. The boots are Lojas. The dress is Revolve. Lacademy is the brand. And then I have my Kelly. Neutral. I can't even tell if I really like this. Maybe I'll change the shoes. Okay, I swapped to these. Where are these even from? Vince Camuto. I swapped to these suede boots. I just feel like they're a little more like they fit the dress. I've worn this exact outfit before. Different purse, but same vibes. Now let's go for real. Gals are live in Starbucks. Hair swift is blue. I'm excited. I just went to the Apple School. We got to see the new phone. iOS 17 is actually unreal. Like, yep. Upgrade your phone. We both We're sitting on the floor. I'm in this super cute outfit. I posted a picture on my Instagram. I just went out and took some photos because I wanted to like try a new look and take some pics. I wanted to try a look with ballet flats. <laughs> I got this really cute pair of ballet flats from J. Crew. I love them. They're just pink and adorable, and they're definitely like a statement. They're not a neutral ballet flat, but I really like that they have this strap that goes across. I thought that a fun way to do it would be like a bright sweater, like a different color pink. And I've seen the ballet flat trend look really good when you wear it with jeans. So I wore it with these like looser on the bottom jeans that I have from Reformation. So they're a little loose on the bottom. So the ballet flats look really cute with it. And I liked it. I liked the look. I also wore a pink hair clip that kind of like tied it all together. It was cute. And then I recorded some ads for the podcast. Now I'm just sitting here uh, prepping an upload for a few days from now. I'm trying to like get ahead on stuff through the weekend. It has been raining for three days straight. And when I'm talking like it's a break, it's like maybe we get like a five to 10 minute break. Normally I like a rainy day. I love it. I love cozying up on the couch. It was fun the first day. Then yesterday I was like, all right, you know, feeling a little lazy, whatever. Today, I am just over it. I'm so over it. I have no motivation to do anything and it's really a vibe kill. I know there's greater problems in the world, but just let me have the space to complain, all right? So I'm gonna pick back up the vlog today and show you guys what we get into. Gonna get my nails done, work out. I'm gonna make myself dinner. Trying to be on a little bit of a cooking journey. I'm sick and tired of ordering food for every meal. Just the cost of it all, but also just like for general health purposes. That's one of my favorite things to do, honestly, is try new restaurants in the city and like go out to eat with friends and family. But I feel like when I'm home, those are the times that I can like opt to do better and like either make a better choice or like cook for myself. And I'm trying to like learn to cook a little bit, just a little bit, just so that I, you know, I can be 26 and make myself some basic meals besides chili, because I can do chili, but you know, some other stuff. This past weekend, we celebrated Danielle's birthday. It was such a fun time. 
um, I did not vlog because I was just I living in the moment and we had a blast. Um, you can go see her channel for, I think she did a vlog. I think her camera like got stolen though. So I'm not even sure how much footage she has, which absolutely sucks. But she looked beautiful and we had such a fun night. It was a ton of fun. It was hosted by Spritz. We danced the night away. I wanted to open this package that I got. Abercrombie was running a sale on LTK last week and I decided to pick up some items for fall. I was victim to the sale. Especially with this gloomy weather, I'm just like, I'm in a fall vibe. So I figured maybe we could do a little bit of a try on haul. This is not, I thought it was. I was about to say, my gosh, that came fast. This is not Abercrombie. This is actually Fashion Pass because I'm going to a lunch with them later this week. They sent me a few options, which I like. Cute. I normally don't wear this color, but I like it. What do we think? Oh, perfect little sweater dress. Oh, it's like a sweater dress, but it's like sleeveless. I think this is gonna be it for me. I like this material. I think if you guys sign up for Fashion Pass, you can use my code Brooke to save some money, by the way. Pretty sure that they are like always using that code. I do fashion pass though every month. This is just like bonus stuff because like I said, we're going to that lunch, but I was wearing my fashion pass stuff this weekend actually, even though I had the most like lazy weekend ever. I swear I read, I watched movies, I watched TV. I didn't work out. We're getting back to it today. This is very cute. This type of, uh, I think my mom called it bones in a previous video. Very flattering. Nails are done. It is still raining. Oh my gosh, you guys, the rain just won't let up. It just, it won't. I went to the grocery store and got a few things for dinner tonight. And yeah, also these are my nails. I asked you guys on Instagram to vote. This was not the most popular option, but you know, it was still loved. Hortus tips. I went on Pinterest to try to find like easy, healthy recipes. And I basically landed on air fried dinner of salmon, potatoes, and green beans. Get it tasting nice and yummy. So I just got some green beans. I just got other things for myself. I always have mac and cheese on hand. I've actually never tried these goodles, but they looked good. And I got Annie's. It's like a healthy grocery store, so they don't have craft. That's my normal go-to. These everyday cottage cheese. They have it in little uh, containers. So like little, you know, individuals. I'm gonna put together a cheese board, I think later this week, maybe Wednesday or something. So I got some cheese for that. We got a brie. Manchego and this Havarti dill. Love dill. I've had this before, this Kate's butter. Cornichons, I might've gotten a little too big of a package of these, but they look really good. I've been into prosciutto lately and I got a little mini bread that I'm probably gonna toast and eat now with some of that butter. I think I'm gonna wait to make the dinner because I want it to be fresh and crispy from the air fryer like after I get back from my workout. When I have the air fryer out, I'm just using it. I just stay using it. So I'm toasting up the bread right now and I'm going to use some of that butter and eat some prosciutto and maybe some cornichons a little like snack plate. I love a random snack time. That new butter though, my random snack plate. I'm enjoying this. I went on Pinterest for meal ideas. I found some good stuff. There's actually a lot of like videos on Pinterest these days, like cooking videos. Obviously those exist on like Reels, TikTok, whatever, but I was surprised at how many of the posts that came up when I searched like, you know, like easy recipe ideas, fall dinner, whatever. Pinterest didn't used to be that way. You guys can follow me on Pinterest if you want. I have been pinning to a board that's just called like 2023. Anna, who came on our podcast, uh, she suggested this idea. I think she learned it from a friend of like just making one Pinterest board that's like for your year. Cause I always struggle with like categorizing. I'm like, does this go in like meal ideas or like style or like photo inspo, like whatever. It's kind of cool just to have like one cohesive board and it's like, it doesn't have to be like aesthetic or whatever. It could be a little bit of everything. Outfits, makeup, whatever your interests are. Pinterest is an amazing place. I decided to make my potatoes and the green beans now and I'll make the salmon later after I get back from my workout. So I'm just quartering them up and then I'm gonna put them in a bowl with olive oil and spices and then I'm gonna air fry them. I forgot that I had garlic, like fresh garlic, so I'm mincing some of that with oil, and I'm gonna do that for the green beans. I should have done it for the potatoes, I totally forgot, but it's like kind of too late because they've been in there for like four minutes already. I like this is like a cooking show. Oil in the bowl. I just washed the green beans. I'm gonna cut the ends off, and I'll toss them in the oil, and then they will go in the air fryer next. I determined that it's significantly better with the garlic. I mean, obviously, but. The hack also to cooking in an air fryer, this is the easiest thing, but honestly, Ben taught me this because I would never want to use my air fryer because cleaning it was just the most annoying thing of my entire life. 
because you basically have to like remove the thing and scrub it and it's never like this is so disgusting but it's never like fully clean I, I don't know how to describe it so I lay down now some tin foil and it makes it so much easier the potatoes are basically done but I was like I need to add garlic because it just it just is gonna taste so much better with that in my Boston apartment I just had like the counter space to leave it out on the counter I mean, I guess, like, I could leave it on the counter. I just would have legitimately no counter space. This simple thing, it just makes the cleaning of it so much easier. Even with a dishwasher, and, like, I would put the basket of it, like, in the dishwasher, it just, it always had, like, I don't know how to describe it, like, just, like, juice, whatever, like, because it collects at the bottom. If you guys have other air fryer hacks, please share. I'm always <laughs> very interested in that sort of stuff. I just got some trough oil. I gave it to Ben because he's more of the cook. So he has it at his apartment and I really wish that I kept that now. You love and learn. Salt, pepper. These are looking fire. I love potatoes. My little baby's potatoes are perfect. Now we have the green beans and now the green beans are done. I'm just gonna go for it and cook the salmon down too. Rubbed it, like washed it, rubbed it with garlic, etc. So it's like, okay, let me just do this now. Put the time up to 10 minutes. It cooks so fast in the air fryer. I'm not used to it being nighttime when I leave. I mean, that's how you know the fall's here. Good morning, guys. We're going to have a great day today. I'm still cycling a little bit. I'm trying to go like every day coming up. Just trying to throw myself back into fitness and yeah, I feel really good though. I worked out yesterday, I'm not too sore. I wanted to say this is not sponsored. This has been my favorite deodorant recently. I've seen so many ads about it and stuff on TikTok and I was like, there's no way that this is actually that good. It's like a natural deodorant, which I, I love a natural deodorant, but like, let's be real, they aren't as like heavy duty as some are, especially for like a high intensity workout class or something. I will leave my workout class and still smell the deodorant, meaning like I smell that instead of my sweat. At least I think I smell good. It's the Santal scent from Salt and Stone. I can link this down below. My hair is crazy because I just like let it go naturally yesterday. So I'm just gonna throw it in a bun for now. And before we go, I'll deal with that. This is a Spanx sports bra. I just realized they're kind of not the same shade of black, but like I really can't be bothered. Look how curly my hair is. I feel like it's my duty to remind you guys, you guys can get tickets to the live shows. A bunch of them sold out, but we have some tickets available still for Chicago Night 2, which is on November 3rd. It's part of like a comedy festival, but like we're our own separate show. So like it's part of the 312 Comedy Festival. That is at Park West. We're doing two nights of Chicago. The first night sold out, and then this is the second night. And we probably aren't gonna come back to Chicago for a bit. So definitely get your tickets. It's gonna be a really good time. And then we do have some tickets available still for our New York City live show. And this is our biggest show yet. It's the biggest venue. It's like 1500 people or something. So if you guys wanna come, that is December 16th. So if you are, I don't know if you're home from college, or if you want to make a New York City weekend out of it, whatever it is, I feel like a lot of people were like, oh, I'll hold on buying tickets, it's so far away. Well, it's getting closer and you don't want it to sell out. So get your tickets. They're available on galsonthegopodcast.com. Just click on that live show tab. Those are the only two shows that we announced that have tickets left. That's it for our shows for the year, the ones we have on there. We're also going to Texas, but that's sold out. And then, like I said, we have that other Chicago night that's sold out. Those will be our shows for the year. We don't have anything planned yet for our next year. I think we definitely will, but... If you're like, you know, I want to come see the gals. Also, the meet and greets are sold out. And I know a lot of people are like, all right, I, what's the point of like just coming to a show? Honestly, we put our like blood, sweat, and tears into the show. It's super fun. I have seen a bunch of other podcast shows now. And I can confidently say that ours is really like a show and not like just a live recording. Well, number one, it's not recorded and like released anywhere. So it's like really exclusive content. But we really just work so hard on these shows to make them unique original and you know like bits from the podcast kind of like expanded into segments it's interactive so even if you don't get a meet and greet we still are like in the crowd you can you know still meet us whatever honestly i'm like really proud of the show we put on also the shows are completely different than the last ones so if you came to you know last year new york or whatever they're completely different danielle and i are doing a lot of work later today stuff for the shows i'm just so excited and it's been a while since we've done shows it was since we haven't done any since February, so please come out and see us. It means the world to us. From a business perspective, it is not a moneymaker for us. We do this because it's super fun to be on the road, meeting you guys, just having a fun night with you guys. It's like, honestly, just such a fun time. Please get your tickets. So galsonthegopodcast.com, click live shows. I'll also try to link them down below. It would seriously mean the world to me if you guys are like 
you know, on the considering or whatever, do it. We will have such a fun night out. You can bring whoever you want. It's definitely made for people who do listen to the podcast. But we've had lots of people that are like, you know, I brought my best friend, they don't listen, and now they will. Bring your mom, boyfriend, husband, partner, whoever you want. And for the New York one, I know for sure we're gonna have a lot of like NYC influencers there, and our families will be there, and uh, boyfriends, etc. So that will be like a really fun, like friends and family one that you can like hopefully meet some people walking around. And I'm just so excited. So I just wanted to share that because I feel like I don't talk about the live shows really that much on YouTube. I feel like I talk about them, well, obviously we talk about them in the podcast a little bit on Instagram, but there are definitely people who are like, I didn't even know you guys were coming. So I feel like I have to broadcast it everywhere just so that everyone hears about it. I attempted the Sophia Richie hair bun. I think it's pretty slick back though, so I'm happy with that. Because when I get back, I'm basically gonna have like a tight turnaround and then I am going to two like showrooms to pick up some pieces from some brands and then um going to danielle's and we're gonna get work done at this point it's just depressing the rain this is crazy i don't think i have time to stop home before this uh showroom appointment with free people movement so in movement fashion i'm gonna go right there i am so close to buying these and making them at home you just add ice and almond milk i guess it's staying dry but also holding my smoothie uh, I subbed out, I did half banana, which it normally comes with, half cauliflower, because I saw that on TikTok, and it tastes the exact same, so. I don't have a key card, so I'm just riding the elevator wherever it takes me, hopefully close to my floor. Oh, we're going down for some reason, but they put in the right number. Great stuff. Obviously, I have to show you guys my gorgeous, I didn't show you last night, but this is what the full spread looks like, with the salmon, the potatoes, and the green beans. I'm just so proud of myself. And I'm using some of this chopped spicy mayo to dip because I'm a dipping girl. Just took a nice shower, feeling a little cozy, and then I'm going to start getting ready. I think we're gonna do like a simple makeup look today, this weather, you know. Mm. I need to really quickly show you guys, because I went to the Free People Movement like um, showroom basically they have, so they were like letting people come and pick out a few items and they're gonna ship it to us. But they have this bag ready with my name on it and like this is literally the bag that I use every day to work out. If you didn't know, it's from Free People. I think it's like 60 bucks or something. Um, and I really like it because it is like waterproof. It has that like almost jacket material. I use it as my workout bag. I keep all of my like workout stuff in it. And I just got it. They gave me another one in this really cute color. I think I'll probably switch to this one. I do really like this. It's like a natural color. I will link this down below for you guys. If you're in the market for like workout bag, overnight bag, whatever, I just like it, it's very neutral. I like the strap, it's really comfortable. I don't feel like it's like digs in too much. It has a good variety of pockets. There's like one big one and one smaller one. And then they gave me socks, which if you know me, you know I love a pair of socks. These are like nice, like warm socks too. A workout set, which I love the Free People Movement workout sets, especially for lounging. The only problem that I have is just, I always have this problem with sports bras, is just like support with my boobs. That's why I wear a lot of like high neck workout tops, especially in spin class, because I don't have to worry about my boobs like spilling everywhere. But honestly, they're so comfortable and they, they do like fit me and support well, just like for spin, I'm, I get nervous. And this I'm really excited about. It's this like oversized green hoodie. I love this color. It's like that what are we, emerald green, almost like jade. Oh my God, it looks so soft on the inside. You know when you could tell that a sweatshirt looks good on the inside based on like how it is, I just know that this is gonna be good. So I'm really excited about that. So thank you, Free People Movement. And then I got uh, two pieces of outerwear that they are sending to me. All right, I have like 30 minutes before I have to go, getting my things in order. This coat and this dress are from Fashion Pass. And I quickly did my makeup and uh, we gotta go. Also, bring back the Never Full. I literally thought about this bag, dug it out from under my bed, fits everything, great bag and it goes with the browns. Danielle's telling me about her supplements. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is so funny. Like, suck, suck her, her down. down. Apparently liposomal is the fastest way to your bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So Dr. the taste Danny. is citrus <laughs> vanilla, Dr. Danny's in session. Um, so I'm pretty pumped and they have like other ones too. I'm impressed. But you just, but oh. I don't know if you'd like it. Yeah, no, I don't, that's shots. not. I don't know. I mean, if you tell me that you really feel the benefits, then maybe I would check it out. It's such a productive, long oh my God, work guys. days. I am like, the live show is so good. So buy your tickets. I wanted to 
thank all of you for being here. Uh, I hope all of you watch every minute of my journey. I think you'll enjoy it all. I think there'll be some interesting finishes that you might not see coming. To end it all, just thank you very much for being here, supporting me in this effort. Uh, I love you all. Oh,